Excellent company. Thank you. So my day will typically start at four in the morning or so. I'll usually roll in here anytime between six and seven. If I can get to the office early enough and it's quiet in my office, I can get a lot of work done before the chaos hits. You hear these sounds in the background. This is normal. And there'll be times where something pops and you become so attuned to what things should sound like that even in mid-sentence you'll stop and say, oh, that's not right. And you gotta go fix whatever that is because it's just, it's an operation that hums literally. Yeah, so we're making good progress. So the worst part of the job is always uh, testing and making sure, you know. This will be our best batch yet. Five years ago, this building was empty. There was not a single thing in here. And now we're full at capacity. We had zero employees. Now we have 48. Now we've got three distilleries up and running and two more under design and the pre-construction right now. By this time next year, we might have seven or eight locations open and running. This is the best seat in the house. We are very aggressive and we're very creative and there are huge, huge holes in the market. And we just happen to be driving big trucks through those holes right now. It also happens to be you can't spell baseball without BSB. This is our cast club. All of our locations, you walk in and you see these walls of casks or casks suspended from the ceiling. The idea behind the cask club is we want to customize this for the consumer, let them be involved in decision making. Product that goes into the barrel, how it's aged. So I, I did my first batch in seventh grade. We could do science projects in our chemistry class, so I set up a still. Got an A on the project, my teacher liked it very much. My wife's an amazing person, and, and uh, she grew up in a manufacturing family, kind of like this, small business, three employees. I grew up on, you know, slime lines and ice houses in Alaska, and that's just kind of what we did. So I always tease them, I'm like, I am so made for you because this does not scare me. My wife serves on a few nonprofit boards. I serve on a few nonprofit boards. We've got kids in soccer, baseball, band. And my parents live about five houses away. And that's a huge help because I don't think we could do it without, you know, my parents' help. My dad comes and makes shelves and does all this kind of stuff, and my mom's there to help with the kids. So it's it's like every other modern family that goes off to work somewhere, or they have their own business. It's hard to find the balance, but um, I I have learned as a mom when I'm home, I'm not working, but when I'm here, I'm not doing home stuff. When you start a small business. I don't know that people really are fully ever ready. They may think they are, but the reality of what you have to do is uh, makes you look back and go, wow, I wasn't ready. What the hell was I doing? <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of scary aspects of it, but like everything else in life, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And if you have a good plan and you have a good team around you and you execute and you're a little fortunate, and you take advantage of the opportunities that you identify, and you really figure out how to allocate resources, as long as your product's good, you should find a niche.